Yo, what is going on, everyone? My name is Nick, or the Notorious Fantasy, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about my week number eight top five trade targets for fantasy football in 2021. Inside today's video, I'm going to be going over five players that I believe you guys should be trading for right now before it is too late. But before we can get into things, I would like to ask if you are new to the channel and you do end up enjoying today's video, to please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And while you're down there, whether you are new to the channel or not, please make sure to leave a like on today's video it would help us out a ton and if you'd like to follow me on twitter please do so at notorious fntsy so without further ado let's get on into my week number eight top five players to be trading for at number one my first player to be trading for is patrick mahomes quarterback of the kansas city chiefs now this year for Patrick Mahomes, things haven't been going so swimmingly. This season, he has already thrown nine interceptions in seven games. While that may not sound like a lot for many players, maybe if you're like Jameis Winston or something, that's a good season. But for Patrick Mahomes, that isn't very good because last season, in 15 games, he only threw six interceptions to 38 touchdowns. In 2019, playing in 14 games, he threw just five interceptions. And in 2018, when he had that explosive year, basically his rookie year after sitting uh, on the bench behind Alex Smith in 2017, he had 50 touchdowns to just 12 interceptions. It's very likely that by the time it's week like 12, he's going to have thrown more interceptions than any point in his career. And while that doesn't sound great, a lot of these interceptions are not all Patrick Mahomes' fault, and I do believe that the Kansas City Chiefs are going to turn it around. Now, are they going to completely turn it around and go from being this team that everyone's laughing at, that's defense, sucks complete and utter ass, to making their way to the Super Bowl? Probably not, but I do believe that the Kansas City Chiefs will still make the playoffs at least, so I think that Patrick Mahomes will be able to turn it around. Last week up against the Tennessee Titans, he had 20 completions on 35 attempts for a grand total of 206 yards, one INT as well as six rushes for 35 yards. This week he goes up against the New York Football Giants, so if there was ever a game for Patrick Mahomes to kind of turn the tide, turn the other page, and look to have a much better season, it would be this week up against the Giants, I think that a lot of people are going to be pissed at Patrick Mahomes because, hey, they drafted him very early on in their drafts. They thought that he was going to return that number one quarterback value, and he hasn't. And it's very hard to kind of find that top five quarterback in fantasy football. And maybe some people, they're scared. They drafted Patrick Mahomes. They feel like they have been screwed over and they want to let him go. So go ahead and try to get Patrick Mahomes right now on the cheap because, again, I do believe that things are going to switch up for Mr. Patrick Mahomes. Next player here is wide receiver of the Carolina Panthers, DJ Moore. Now, last week, I talked about DJ Moore as a guy that you guys should be trading for because I believe that the tide is going to change for DJ Moore. Was I one week early? Maybe, but he was still seeing a lot of volume last week, and I do believe that if Sam Darnold ends up switching up, ends up actually playing pretty well, then things are going to go very, very nicely for DJ Moore in the future, as I believe that the Carolina Panthers are going to sort out this Sam Darnold situation within the next coming weeks. It just seems like going from the first three weeks where he was playing absolutely amazing out of his mind to right now, that things are bound to at least go back to Sam Darnold not looking terrible out there. So DJ Moore last week up against the Giants, he had six receptions on 10 targets for 73 yards. No touchdown in that game, but that is a pretty solid stat line. He is still seeing almost double digit targets every single game, and he is the clear number one target on the team. Whether Christian McCaffrey is back instantly or whether it takes a little bit longer for Christian McCaffrey to come back to me, that does not really matter at all as I'm still very confident in DJ Moore's ability, whether Christian McCaffrey is in the game or not. And earlier on in the season, when Christian McCaffrey was playing was when DJ Moore was at his best. So maybe when Christian McCaffrey ends up returning, that does help out DJ Moore a little bit. Besides week number seven in week number six, when he also had a down game, he still had 13 targets in that game, five receptions, 73 yards. So again, the volume is still going to be there for DJ Moore. It does hinge a little bit on Sam Darnold getting back to playing just decently, but I do think that is entirely possible because while I don't think Sam Darnold is necessarily what he was in the first three games, games of the season. I don't think he's that bad to where he's going to get benched again like he did up against the Giants. So I expect DJ Moore to look a lot better as the season goes along. But before we can get on into the next player, I'd like to let you guys know that we have partnered with Yahoo Fantasy this NFL season to bring you guys some great offers. Check out our exclusive limited time offer, which gets you guys one free month of Osmo Plus Platinum. To qualify, you need to be new to Yahoo. Sign up via the link down below. Deposit and play. That is it. Yahoo will send us your name after you play in your first paid 
contest, and we'll reach out to you via email with your coupon. If you would like immediate access, please email support at osmo.com, and we will get you set up right away. You can also claim a free $10 below, which can be used to enter any Yahoo contest. Make sure to use our DFS tools and projections designed specifically for Yahoo to give your guys the best shot at winning big. Please make sure you guys do check out Yahoo Fantasy. The link is down below in the description. Next up, we move to a running back, Leonard Fournette, Uncle Lenny, running back of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, when it comes to Leonard Fournette, a lot of these guys like Patrick Mahomes, I think it's a buy low on Patrick Mahomes, right? He isn't playing up to the caliber that we're used to and what we believe Patrick Mahomes can play to. DJ Moore, he's getting the targets. He's not necessarily playing amazingly. He's a buy low. Leonard Fournette, he's on fucking fire. So he's definitely not a buy low, but I also don't think he's a buy high because I really do believe the potential for Leonard Fournette this season. He could honestly be a top five running back if they continue to give the ball as aggressively to Leonard Fournette as they have. And it really does appear that Bruce Arians has given the reins clearly to Leonard Fournette and that he is the guy for the team. Last week, up against the Chicago Bears in what I expected to be a bigger game than what he had. He still had a great game. He had 15 rushes for 81 yards as well as a touchdown in that matchup. He also had four targets, two receptions, and nine yards. I just expected something a little bit more similar to week number six up against the Eagles where he had 22 rushes, 81 rushing yards, two touchdowns in that game, six for six receiving, and 46 receiving yards. I kind of expected that up against the Bears and that would have made sense, right? Because the Chicago Bears got eviscerated. They got torched by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, so it would make sense that Uncle Lenny would have had a much better stat line. But hey, at the end of the day, who's complaining about 15 rushes, 81 yards, a touchdown, nine receiving yards, a couple of catches. Everyone's pretty happy with that. So at the end of the day and going forward, I do believe that while you may be paying a pretty penny for Leonard Fournette, I do think he's going to return the value that you can trade for him and even finish even higher than where he is sitting right now. Again, I really do believe he has top five potential, especially with how good the Tampa Bay Buccaneers look for yet another season. Next up, we move to a tight end, George Kittle, tight end of the San Francisco 49ers. George Kittle has been on IR since week number five as he got hurt in week number four but right now the expectation is that he will be back next week after sustaining that calf injury in their matchup up against the Arizona Cardinals in week number nine. While George Kittle wasn't performing at tip-top shape early on in the season, I still do believe that George Kittle is one of the upper echelon tight ends in fantasy football. And when it's so hard to find that tight end, right now trading for George Kittle is on the low. It's on the cheap because, hey, he's not playing this week. And he should be playing next week in week number nine, but people might be worried. They might think, oh, maybe George Kittle is going to miss week number nine as well. And maybe this injury really screwed him over. In my opinion, I think that George Kittle is going to bounce back towards the rest of the season because his last game he played was up against the Seattle Seahawks. He had four receptions on 10 targets for 40 yards. The week before that, up against the Green Bay Packers, he had seven receptions on nine targets for 92 yards. He also had 78 yards earlier on in the season. His only real down game was in week number two up against the Eagles where he went four for four like he was at Wendy's for 17 yards. So at the end of the day, while this hasn't been a colossal amazing George Kittle season when he was healthy he was playing pretty well and with it being so hard to get like I said that upper echelon tight end when it's very hard to be getting points at the tight end position off of the waiver wire when you're trying to stream tight ends even when you draft a tight end a guy like Robert Tunyon that you may have drafted in like the eighth round has been a complete and utter unmitigated disaster he's probably out for the season with a torn ACL so that may not be the best example but finding a good tight end on the cheap is difficult and right now is the perfect time to be acquiring Mr. George Kittle Me Timbers tight end of the San Francisco 49ers. Final player to be discussing today is just so happened to be George Kittle's teammate Debo Samuel wide receiver of the San Francisco 49ers. Now just like with Leonard Fournette I don't think that Debo Samuel is a buy low. Saying that would be pretty fucking crazy considering he's a top 10 wide receiver in fantasy football right now but I really do believe that Debo may be the number one wide receiver in fantasy football. Going into the season, I was very worried about how this offense was going to look, whether it's Trey Lance or Jimmy Garoppolo, but it just so happens that Debo Samuel is great when it's Jimmy Guap or when it's Trey Lance. And another worry of mine was, hey, this Brandon Ayuk fella, he looked great in his rookie season. Maybe Brandon Ayuk's going to be taking away a lot of value from Debo Samuel. And that also, that take was also completely wrong because Brandon Ayuk, he, he's not even out of the doghouse. His, his little His little nose is out of the fucking doghouse, but he's still stuck in there. He's still trapped in. 
He's still trapped in. So Debo Samuel is just eating these defenses alive. He's eating them like Ezekiel Elliott eats turkey, I would assume, on Thanksgiving dinner. He eats a lot, big man Zeke, just like Debo Samuel has been eating all season long. Last week up against the Indianapolis Colts in that rainy game, 7 of 11, like the store, for 100 yards and a touchdown in that game. Even though the 49ers got soaked by the Indianapolis Colts, we still saw Debo Samuel have a great performance. The week before that was his really only down game of the season up against the Arizona Cardinals. In week number five, they were on by in week number six. Three of nine for 58 yards the week before that. Eight receptions, 13 targets, 156 yards, and two touchdowns. Debo Samuel has done it with Trey Lance. He's done it with Jimmy Garoppolo, like I said. So there is no doubt in my mind at all that Debo Samuel couldn't finish as the number one ranked wide receiver in fantasy football. So go ahead and get him now. Get him on the technical cheap because his price is only going to keep on rising as the season goes along. So thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. If you did end up enjoying, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well as hitting that like button. And let me know who your number one, number one trade target is this week. Is it one of the guys that I talked about? Mahomes, Moore, Leonard Fournette, George Kittle, or Debo Samuel? Or is it someone else? So thank you guys all so much for watching. I love you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your guys' day. And as always, good boy.